All right, we'll clear something up right away. I have not been backstage stuffing my face with pastries from the pastry tray. I am, in fact, pregnant with my third child. Thank you. Yay. Not the typical physique of a TEDx speaker. I actually Googled pregnant TEDx speaker, and I came up with nothing. So while I hope my talk is novel and interesting on its own, I'm thinking it might garner some video views after the fact, because people will be like, did you see that pregnant lady giving a TEDx talk? Yikes. And then I thought maybe my talk would go massively viral if I just birthed the baby <laughs> right on stage. But that might get a little awkward, and it would actually require a lot of audience participation. I need Dr. O to go bowl some water. I need someone to go rip up some sheets. So I think I'm just going to stick with my plan talk. And my plan talk actually starts right here. I believe we are all born with the capacity to create and the need for human interaction baked right into our DNA. So why do these skills we nurture in our young seem to fade as we grow older? I was in my son's pre-K class a few weeks ago at Circle Time, and I asked the students, how many of you are artists? Emphatically, almost every hand went up. What about here? How many of you in the audience would define yourselves as artists? Okay, a couple dozen out of 600 or so. How about a more inclusive question? How many of you would define yourselves as citizens? Okay, not a trick question. We're all citizens of somewhere. I'd like to make the case today that with my talk, by the end of it, I could get most of you, if not all of you, to raise your hand if I asked who in the audience is a citizen artist. And this is how I define citizen artist. Someone who has the capacity to think creatively about a solution to a problem and the courage to then put that idea out into the world. So I would consider all the speakers on stage today citizen artists, from Heather Collins to Ben Navarro, all citizen artists. And for those of you that just tuned me out a few moments ago at the very first mention of artist, I need you to come back to me, all you non-art people. I think you will be surprised at the powerful ways that art and creativity can help you connect to your community and to the world. I saw this on a bumper sticker once. The earth without art is just meh. Nah. That's true. That is actually a proven fact. You cannot spell earth without A-R-T. You can't do it. It's that important. So let's do a little creative exercise this morning. Let's think like artists and visualize. I want you to close your eyes. You don't have to, but it will help. Close your eyes. Imagine a vacant building. It's been vacant for years. It's dank and a little dark. Most of the windows are boarded up, but the windows that aren't boarded up are letting in some beautiful natural light. The paint is peeling, the ceiling's leaking, there's no running water, no power. It's kind of creepy, but the good kind of creepy. Imagine walking into that space and hearing the sound of an old music box playing and seeing this. Open your eyes. Teacups. Dozens and dozens of teacups hanging from the ceiling. This was an art installation by Sharon Mitchell. And she invited all the attendees that day to cut these teacups home and take these little gardens home with them because she wanted everyone to know that this building, this space, this community is a part of you, it's a part of me, it's a part of us. In a documentary we did about the day, Sharon has a great quote. She simply says, use it or lose it. And that is one of the key characteristics of a citizen artist. A citizen artist does not have an idea and puts it on a shelf to gather dust, maybe come back to it, maybe not. With a citizen artist, there is an inherent need for action and implementation. Another key characteristic of a citizen artist is collaboration. Another participant this day was a recent College of Charleston graduate named Lauren Hester. And when you walked into this once vacant building, there was a big table set up right up front with name tags. 
Only instead of writing your name on the name tag, you were to write from the perspective of your five-year-old self what you wanted to be when you grew up. So people were walking around all day with name tags that said things like time traveler, movie star, artist, astronaut. And you were also given a booklet of star stickers. And every time you had an interaction with someone, you shared stickers. So people were walking around with their chests fully covered in stars. Friends and strangers were interacting all day long. It was an incredible thing to see. What did you want to be when you were five? It's fun to think about that for a second. Artists really have the capability to get us to dig a little deeper into ourselves and each other. And I think that's a skill we can all cultivate and be the better for it. These two artist installations were part of a one-day temporary art event, free and open to the public. Over a thousand people came to see 33 local artists in their installations, and then it was gone. The impermanence of this project proves the point that our ideas are only as powerful as the impact they leave on us. And the impact from this event was the start of a dialogue about how to engage a community and come together in creative collaboration. Because as citizen artists, we are called to take ideas one step further. And you all have already done that today. Simply being in the seat of a TEDx event leads me to believe that you have a passion for creative action. You bought a ticket months ago, apparently. This event sold out really quickly. You woke up, you took off work, or maybe you called in sick. I won't tell. <laughs> but you're here today to listen. But I think we all know you're here to listen as a precursor to getting involved. Involved in some capacity, whether it's as a volunteer, checking out a website, or simply sharing an idea with a friend. All of the speakers on stage today are here for the ripple effect. But you, you, my friends, are the ripple effect. You are the ones that will take today one step further. And why are you going to take today one step further? Because you're citizen artists, that's why. Being here today signifies to me that you can listen, think, collaborate, create, and implement. That's it. That's all you need to be a citizen artist. I consider myself a citizen artist. But my day job is finance. Yeah, finance. But I spend a lot of my time working with a community arts organization and some other art institutions. And I have found that my varied background and experiences only gives me more dots to connect. The more different we are, the more powerful it is when we find the points at which we overlap and converge. Now, I take my role as a citizen artist very seriously. I listen. I think, I collaborate, and I know you all do that too, every day. But I wanted to show you that creating and implementing are also really import important. And that seemed a little harder to do in my allotted time slot. But then I remembered a trip I took to London ages ago as a teenager. And I remember walking through Hyde Park and passing an area called Speaker's Corner. And this is a place where people have been gathering since 1872 to get up on their soapbox and talk about politics, religion, whatever. And I realized that what I am trying to do as a citizen artist is to find ways to give everyone a voice. And I use art and creative action as my tools. So I wanted to construct something for you today on stage, but I thought that would get a little distracting, as if my belly wasn't distracting enough. So I have this palette here. It's obviously just a palette. It was actually at Miminger, which is very convenient. I didn't have to bring one. They're everywhere. But when I stand on it, in my wedges, it becomes a soapbox, a traveling speaker's corner, coming soon to a neighborhood near you. There's only one rule with my soapbox. No grievances or complaints, only ideas and solutions. By listening today, recognize that you have the capacity to think creatively about how your city functions and how your role as a citizen artist can alter the course of its future. What is the definition of insanity? 
doing the same thing over and over and over again and hoping for a different outcome, well, that won't work anymore. And citizen artists don't do that anyway. It's time to get creative with solutions. The TEDx platform is all about ideas worth sharing. Well, let's take that one step further today and show that we believe ideas worth sharing should be put into action. And sometimes the easiest place to start is to just get up on your soapbox and use your voice for good. Use it or lose it. Thank you.